Welcome back to uh, On The Aaron. This is another unedited segment. So uh, as you can see by the title, this is gonna be a pretty dark story. Um, it's where I'm really gonna open up and be honest and share my experiences. And so let's just get right into it. In 2016, I was closeted and very depressed and I had a secret boyfriend for like a month and that was a time where I didn't feel alone and I felt like happy for a little bit, but then it was taken away once our parents found out. And then like, he was taken away from all my classes and at one point and on January 14th, 2016, I couldn't do it anymore. I was in the school bathroom. Uh, it was one of those like single use and I, to try to cut off circulation from my brain, I held my breath super hard and I passed out, hit my chin on the doorknob, the door handle, and I was awoken by people being like, Aaron, Aaron, are you okay? I was like, yeah, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, nothing happened. They're like, we heard falling. I walk out, they're like, you're bleeding. And um, I, they sent me to the doctor to get stitches done. And the doctor was like, why? Like, oh, what happened? And I was like, oh yeah, no, I just tripped on something. I slipped and uh, I never really told them the case until, wait, I don't know when I told the real truth, but I was depressed and I couldn't do it anymore. And I was, just ready to just be done. And it's a struggle when you have no one to talk to. I felt so alone. I felt like I was nothing. And depression can really hit. And it hit hard for me. I still have days. Um, but when I was done getting my stitches, nine stitches by the way, and it was a thousand bucks. Um, as I was walking out there like, you know, the girls love the stitches. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah, okay. And I left and just the whole time I was like, I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? So after that, I finally decided to just suck it up and come out. And, and after that, I felt such a weight lifted. It felt so good to not be afraid and not to, yeah, it was, I don't even know how to explain it, but I make this video unedited to show and be honest and real with you so I can help people. I can help you and I, I, yeah, that's my suicide story of 2016. I have part two coming next.